I will now show you how I will do a simple way of drawing scrolls. I've already divided these up into little oblongs. This is the way I was trying to explain. So what we're doing now is putting this in here like so. We're going to make the the road going all the way around on this one. We'll just do this one first. So now I'm going to cut the corner because I'm doing this one like this. I'm going to cut the corner there. Okay. So on this one I will cut the corner there. I'll cut the corner there and I'll cut the corner there. Now we're going to travel round here. You see? Yeah. And I'm going to come down here and I'm still keeping the same distance there and I've just got a little narrow one here so as you can see it's already formed a scroll we're working here we're cutting the corners there and cutting the corners here now it's become this is my diagram of how things will work you see so now this is all angular now we're going to do this one here we cut the corner there and you can see this is going up here this is what we're going to do this way now we've already done this movement so it's almost halfway through or just a little bit more it's according to the type of scroll you want to do so we're going to do this one we're going to make the roadway here the same distance here here we left this a little bit of a gap so you can put other things in if you like there so we've done that and we've done that so we've got the same roadway going all the way around over here we're going to do the same again what we did there cut this corner here cut this corner here cut this corner here cut this corner here so now you've got the scroll you see you've already got this without any problems we've done this again one two three four okay Cut the corner, see, you've got little gaps there, little triangular movements there. This is all angular again, you see. So we cut this one here and cut this one here. Now you can see that, really, because I rushed it, I'm not completely in there, in, in this, there, I've got too much gap there, maybe. So that's what I'm trying to explain. Take your time, get this. So it's right there, and then we give it there. Now you form your scroll better because we haven't rushed. I've done my little rubbing technique if I wanted to because I've made my little mistake. Now it's almost erased that. I'm not taking too much problem on there. See now, what we do now is because this is a technique again if you want to make a neater rub it over with your putty rubber or your blue tack this stuff that you stick things on with okay so now you've got your ghosting you're going to correct it into this way but you see you've already got that there all your proportions are correct and you are making an awkward scroll. So now you can work from this. See, so you already have this. And you can perform it better. Now, now you've got your rhythm, which was like this one here. And then we correct that here. And we've got it ready to go on this one here. You see? So now, how fast it is. Instead of drawing it the way we would always do, doing the scroll itself and getting it awkwardly. I always say turn the paper around because you can, I have to see it from a different angle and it looks correct here, but if I might turn it, it may maybe slightly ski with or as we say elongated or 
that has got awkward corners. But this is a simple way of doing it. This is the way I want to teach the learners how to do a scroll. It was quite easy. We'll do one here. I'll do the same again. Suppose I'm putting another oblong in here, another oblong in here. Right? So we'll do the same again. We'll make this, we'll make that one there, and do this one, that one. This one, we'll do this one, that one, that one. Now you cut your corners, cut your corners, cut your corners, and you will come down here. You cut your corner, you cut your corner, do all this in here, there, and then you have your little scroll ready to go in this one, you see. So the more you 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 you, you rub and you refine. Okay? So this is your small diagram of how to correct your scrolls and you work from whatever you're going to do. I'm just going to do it rapidly again. It's the ladder movement. We're doing this here and you fill this in with your leaves. So we're going here and you follow that round until you come to the, your final part. So don't leave too much of a big area there. So you can form these into the variety of leaves you want to here. I'm doing it rapidly to keep this as a short bit little video. And we'll make another video of this. Again, you fill this in with whichever way you want. But this will give you a very quick rough idea of what we intend to do with our scrolls, you see. So it's whatever you want to put inside here. And look for the best. And there we are. It's a quick one. I'll leave you now.